But before we talk about the eyes of faith, in this story, we see Lot. Word Lot means veil. Veil. So his name meant veil. So if he comes around you, you can see clearly. You got to be careful of Lot's in your life because they are like a veil. And the Bible says something happens with Lot. Lot one day has a little conflict with Abraham and he's, he lifts his eyes and he sees a very beautiful place. And the Bible, in your Bible, there's parentheses. It says, before the Lord destroyed it. And he saw it so beautiful and he was convinced in his eyes, mine, that it was like the Garden of Eden. He says, well, this, this must be from God. And he goes after it and he lives there at first he suffers because the men in that city are wicked after a while things get difficult he get kidnapped with his family loses everything Abraham rescues him then after a while God destroys the city a lot runs from the city leaving everything he earned back there on the way he loses his wife and Lot lives the rest of his elderly years in a retirement home called cave with a sexual immorality very bad lifestyle really devastating everything started with this phrase lot lifted his eyes and saw the plain of jordan eyes of the flesh make sin look good even when it tastes bad it looks good but it tastes bad you bite it like ugh and that's what lot did he bit of that wonderful fruit called sodom and lost everything his wife his possessions every single thing because it looked good but it tasted really bad when we came to the united states 13 years ago we visited one family who was very dear to us they invited us for a, either a lunch or a dinner for a meal and me and my friend Ilya, who was leading worship we went there before that i've never seen black olives Anything, anything that was circle and, and dark was chocolate to my mind. And so I remember we were eating and, and they passed on, you know, mashed potatoes and salad and everything. And I saw a bowl of dark circles. I got so excited because I have a sweet tooth. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, this is chocolate candy world. So I'm like, how is this going to go with salad and with, with mashed potato? I don't know, but I'm like, I don't care. So I take as much as possible on my plate because it looked chocolate. I took about 15. So they looked at me, they're like, wow, he really loves black olives. I don't know, they're black olives. I think they're chocolate. Until I took a fork and took three at once. And I put it into my mouth. And when I bit that, I've experienced a glimpse of hell. <laughs> It was so nasty. Please forgive me, those of you who are obsessed with black olives. I think black olives will never be in heaven. They will not make to heaven. But they tasted so bad. I remember I spit it on the ground, picked it up and put it in my pocket. And I never touched those chocolate balls for the rest of my life. I do believe I might need deliverance when I go to Scone next month from black olives. But this is what I realized. On that day, I learned a very powerful lesson. Because it looks like chocolate, it doesn't mean it is chocolate. Every sin looks like chocolate until it's in your mouth. Every adultery is like chocolate until it's in your mouth. Every stealing is like chocolate. It's going to make me rich until it's in your mouth. Every drug is like chocolate until it's in your system. Every addiction to alcohol is just chocolate until it's in your mouth. Every sin looks like chocolate. And what you're after is you're not after sin. You look, you see, and because you have eyes of flesh, you're like, this is chocolate, this is amazing. And you start putting that in. Boom, you lost this, you lost this, you lost this, you lost this, you lost this. And that's exactly what happened with Lot. He thought Sodom was chocolate, but it was sour. It was too late. Eyes of flesh make sin look good when it tastes bad 